you can open an Etsy shop and start selling custom products without having to keep boxes and boxes of them in your spare room. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it step-by-step -step using Printify. Let's start by opening up our Etsy shop. First, we need to register an account with Etsy. If you've already got an Etsy account, you can skip to step two. Go to Etsy.com and select Sign In in the top right corner, then Register in the pop-up window. Enter your email address, name, and create a password, then Register. If you prefer, you can also sign up with Google, Facebook, or Apple. Once you sign up, look for a confirmation email from Etsy and confirm your account. Go to etsy.com slash sell, click get started, and let's do this to agree to Etsy's terms of use. Answer a couple questions about your business experience or skip these questions if you're not sure and start your shop. Continue with your shop preferences, including language, country, and currency. Save and continue to go to the next step. Enter your shop name following Etsy's guidelines. If you see a red exclamation mark, it means the name isn't available. Don't worry too much about the name of your shop yet. You can always change this later. Once you find an available name, select Save and Continue. Now you'll need to create your first listing. Select the category of your product, whether it's a physical or digital item, who made it, and what it is. We'll say another company or person and a finished product since we're using Printify. Since we only create products once a customer orders, we can say it's made to order. You'll need to add a production partner. Enter Printify as the production partner and choose if you wanna show this in your listing. Type a production partner in the description and select United States for the location. In the questions about your partnership, select I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself. I design everything myself and they do everything for me. Save, and now every time you create a listing, you'll have the option to select Printify as your production partner. Click Done, then Save and Continue to add more details about the listing. Don't worry about adding all of the exact details, keywords, and pictures just yet, as this doesn't have to be a real listing. You can edit or delete it later. Add a quick title, a photo, which you can download from Printify, a short description, and personalization if you're ready. Enter your price and quantity. We can put the max of 999. Add variations, attributes, tags, and materials if your product is ready and you've done your keyword research. If not, it's okay to leave these areas empty for now. We've already indicated it's a physical item and its category in the previous step, but now we'll need to create a shipping profile. Again, we can always change this and add new shipping profiles later. For now, let's enter fixed prices manually, select United States as the shipping origin, and enter Printify zip code that you see on the screen. We'll enter the production time that we see on the product details page in Printify, and we can find the shipping service on our shipping rates page. In my example, I'm selling leggings with MWW on demand. See their rates and scroll to the bottom to find the shipping service. Enter your rates. I'll choose free shipping for domestic orders and fixed rates for international orders. These rates can be found on the product details page in Printify. You can choose to add a shipping upgrade and save this profile if you wanna use it for future listings. Save profile and apply. You won't have to create a new shipping profile every time you create a listing. When publishing your products from Printify to Etsy, we'll automatically create a shipping profile for you. Next, apply a return policy, which you can also change later and choose whether you want this listing to renew automatically or manually. Keep in mind, you'll be charged the 20 cent listing fee each time it renews. Now you can add more listings if you're ready or do it later. Enter information on how you'll get paid so when you make a sale, Etsy can send you your money. Add your bank location, 
what type of seller you are for tax purposes, and your personal information. Then connect your bank, which you'll have to verify with a security code sent to your email. This may take a bit for your bank to be confirmed, but don't worry, you'll be able to pick up right where you left off in the registration process. Then you'll need to verify your identity by providing a photo of your ID and a selfie, and you can use your device's camera so Etsy knows you're who you say you are. Now you'll need to share your billing info. Here, you'll enter your credit or debit card information, which is how you'll pay for Etsy fees, listing fees, and the one-time setup fee. This starts at $15 for most people, but can be more depending on your information and what Etsy decides. You'll get charged the setup fee right away, but only one time. After you've entered your information, review and approve the setup fee and continue. As the last step, set up a two-factor authentication to keep your shop safe. You can choose to receive a text, phone call, or use an authenticator app. Once you've set this up, Etsy will give you a list of backup codes. Make sure to save these or copy and paste them someplace secure. Lastly, open your Etsy shop and you're ready to go. Now we can connect it to Printify in just a few seconds. From your Printify dashboard, click on your store name in the top left and select Add a new store. Choose Etsy, then a pop-up window will ask you to give Printify access to your Etsy account. This lets us publish listings to your shop and automatically import orders you get. Click Grant Access and that's it, you're connected. Quick final note, unfortunately Etsy does take down new stores if they feel something is wrong. Sometimes it happens by accident. If you get a notification that your account has been suspended, don't worry, you probably haven't done anything wrong. Simply reach out to Etsy support and let them know that your account has been suspended without reason. It may take up to two weeks for them to get your request, but once they do, you can start selling in no time. If there really is something you need to adjust in your account, Etsy will let you know. And just like that, you've set up your very own Etsy shop with Printify. If you're interested in selling on Shopify too, then head over to this video for a step-by-step -step tutorial.